Went to a local fish store to pick up some frozen food and guess what else I got? All right, fishy folks, I stopped by my local fish store to pick up some food. I got some frozen spirulina and brine shrimp to give to my rams based on a suggestion by one Mr. Corey McElroy, who I think Dean the breeder told him. So I'm gonna try it. And I also picked up some Cyclops because I go through a lot of that with the little mouths I have. But I saw these buttes. German blacks. So now we have three strains of blacks. Black guppies that is. Um, but I couldn't pass him up and I got a great deal on him. Of course, I didn't even ask for a deal. He just gave me a deal. He has a local guy that breeds them. That's all he breeds is these. So I figured I would take a couple. Maybe I could sell them to him or, you know, sell them locally or to other, other local fish stores. But I do have a problem and I'm going to explain that problem in one moment. All right, fishy folks. You may be saying to yourself, Mike, why are you floating those German blacks? in your storage tank and here's why as you may or may not know these koi angels i almost call them koi guppies these koi angels spawned for a third time and i pulled the eggs they spawned on the standpipe just like these dumbasses well these dumbasses didn't they spawned on the glass but these dumbasses also spawned on the standpipe. So anyway, these guys spawned on the standpipe, pulled it out, put it in the only tank I had available, which is this one with methylene blue. And I knew when I pulled them that they weren't fertilized, but I figured I'd give it a day or two. And the reason they're not fertilized is they are both female. So I know that this uh, platinum is a male. I'm gonna pull him out of that tank, put him in here, see if we can't make some magic happen, and we'll see what happens there. In the meantime, I'm gonna clean out that tank with the methylene blue that has the no good eggs in it, and I will uh, put my black German, my German blacks in there in quarantine. All right, fishy folks, the tank is now cleaned out. I uh, rinsed it, I uh, filled it with water. And again, you may be saying to yourself, Mike, why are they floating in here? Well, this is the water I used to fill the, sorry about that, this is, you... this is the water I used to fill the tank. And it's at currently at 83 degrees. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm not putting my phone over that big, ginormous vat of water. Um... I don't know if you just saw the floor is a little wet. We had a flood down here. A little piece of advice. If you smell plastic burning, more than likely plastic is burning. And what was burning was a GFI outlet. Um, I think one of, the, one of the wires came loose in there. And the outlet was acting a little funny, my son said. Uh, yesterday, because our, our router is plugged into it. And uh, when I got home last night, it seemed okay. Well, when I came down this morning, I smelled something definitely burning. And I wish I didn't throw it away. I should have showed it to you. Maybe I'll put a picture in here. And that's what it looked like. And it was kind of scary at first when I thought about it. Um, could have burned the house down. But I caught it. I'm gonna fix it. Uh, my local fish store also got in some blood red swords. Uh, so I have to decide what I'm gonna do. Am I just gonna pull this mail uh, so I can just have blood red swords? Cause all the fish are the, you know how the black tail are like the wags. So I don't know if I'm gonna start a whole nother colony. That's probably what I'll do. I'll start a whole nother colony, but I like this the longer tanks for the swords maybe so so here we go thinking out loud again maybe i'll start that colony over in a 20 high 
warming up with that twenty. Oh, oh look, we got some down there. I don't know. I want them though. Blood red stores are quite nice. Um, all right, so we have quite a few white eggs in here. Uh, there's two batches, two different batches, because I needed tank space. Not too happy. We're gonna let these go for a couple more days. These fry are doing well. Look how they're growing. Um, these are the blue zebra, blue marble, blue rainbow marble uh, guys. Got some dead snails on the outside. These are just regular marbles. There's four of them left in there. And yeah, all right. So that's what's going on. I'll be back. All right, fishy folks. We're back the next morning. And I walk into the fish room and I hear this. And I immediately try to diagnose the problem, which you can see is that airline is off from the nipple. And I believe I put this on the other day. It fell off again. So I'm gonna cut it a little bit. I don't think I can cut it one-handed because you know, scissors don't typically work that way. But let's try it. This should be make for an exciting moment on YouTube videos. See? How about like this? Oh, boom! Now, we're gonna plug it back in. Yeah, that didn't work. All right, so that controls the filter for this tank. And the sponge filter for my red albinos. I don't know how long it was. It was off for, at the most, it was off for 10 hours. I don't see a problem. It's one of the, th the great things about sponge filters. Even if the power goes out, you still have the actual biological filtration in the tank. All right, that's my biological filtration lesson of the day. Let's see if we can't scare this spectacular fish right there look look at him high fin layer tail sword tail orange and black very nice there's another real nice male in there I don't think he has a sword yet I can't tell if he's male or female he's just went away anyway let's look at our German blacks uh oh I don't know maybe they're just sleeping one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, they don't, they don't seem to be doing great. Hmm. They don't seem to be doing great. Let's see. So we just put some floating plants in there for some cover and also to help absorb any nitrates that are produced. But all my tanks, pretty much all my tanks, have some plant matter in them, except probably the angel tanks make some mess with them. Uh, yeah, maybe they were just sleeping. We'll see. We'll see. German half blacks. No, German blacks. I gotta get that name right. I'm gonna offend someone and I don't really mean to. Alright. Angels. Let's see. So his tube is starting to come down. She's pooping. And her tube is down, so that's good. Maybe we'll get a little boom chicka boom boom going on. Are you dumbasses cleaning the glass again? Okay, no, good. I'm not too happy with the results of these eggs. I don't know if you can see in there, but yeah, not too happy. Anyway, let's take a look. Uh, I did disconnect my heater. And the water temperature down here has gone down into the lower end of the 70s. It was always 77, 78. Now we're down to 74, 73. So I'm going to have to probably plug the heater back in. So I'm just over here looking at the uh, sunset platies, hoping to see a gajillion fry. And of course, I don't see any. I do see a couple of the endlers I put in here just to test the tank. Make sure all the chlorine bleach was gone from when I cleaned it. Yeah, I used them as a test. So, 
Anyway, what else is going on in the fish room? Ah, I have the spirulina and brine shrimp. Uh, my local fish store carries the Hikari brand, which is really what I wanted. Um, I do trust their food. Yeah, I'm going to have to turn the heater back on. I just put my hand in this tank and it's a little cold. I did move this slate up because the last two times they spawned, they missed the slate. They uh, spawned above it. Now, I'm just wondering if, if it's that high, they're not going to be able to go out of the water. Yeah, that should be good. Sorry, it's just me talking to myself. Um, so here's the brine shrimp and spirulina. It's going to be for the rams. Um, I think somebody asked a question. Uh, I don't think it was one of Corey's live streams. I don't remember which video it was. I'll try to find it and put a put a card up so you guys can watch it if you want. <clears throat> but um, we're gonna try it because I've had those rams long enough where there should be some sort of action going on. Oh, we may have brine shrimp hatched. I don't think so though. We'll check that in a minute. Um, yeah, so we have Cyclops for the little guys and the fry. We have the spirulina and brine shrimp. This is one cube. It's probably a little bit too much for the four German blue ram, uh, electric blue rams I have. I'll give probably a little bit to the gold ram and see who else wants it. And bloodworms for the angels and some of the other guys I want to spawn. And yeah. I just almost got a good picture of the gold dust mollies. Now my local fisher had some mollies that he called gold dust mollies, but they were much darker. These are much lighter, so I'll have to tell him they're another name or see what he wants to name them. He's good at naming fish too. Not really good at naming fish, but he's been around so long, like 112 years, that he, uh, he knows all the names. You know, someone calls a orange platy, a tangerine platy, or a goldfish platy, or a goldie platy, gold platy, you know, it's just orange. Alright, so what do we got going on up here with the albino reds? There's two, there's three, there's the fourth male, he's over there. So ideally I like uh, an odd number. As an example, with my German blacks, I got two males <coughs> and five females. I'm just gonna test the water real quick, folks. If I could find my disastrous on uh, my disastrous workbench test strips. I know Corey just did this uh, this video strips versus the API master kit, which is as everyone knows is the best thing since sliced bread when it comes to testing water, right? If that's all I had, I probably want to test this water. I just don't have time. So we're going to dip it 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom, take it out. There's a little ammonia in there, it looks like. Come on, do this one handed. You've done this before. Yeah, a tiny bit of ammonia. Which according to this, they still say is safe, but we all know we don't want that much ammonia. Hmm. I mean, there's more than a little. I may have to do a water change. Uh, well, we put meds in there, so. Maybe we'll add another filter. Yeah, we can do that. I'm sure I have one. Uh, oh, we have one in there. Oh, boom. Thanks. Solo and skunk in your friends. Water on the floor, water on the floor, water on the floor. So we'll put that in there, let the beneficial bacteria take up that ammonia. Let's test for the other baddies. Uh, test strips, where are you? Test strips. Yeah, that's right, I'm gonna do a video on Pinky soon. Pinky filter floss. Oh, found them. Look at the disastrous workbench. You would think after this I would clean up. No, I don't know if I can do this one hand. So this one basically you dip and wait 30 seconds and then another 30 seconds for the nitrite. So I dip, go vertically. Now, so 
this kind of goes like this, right? And the first one is nitrate. The second one is nitrite. It's kind of backwards from the API test, if you're used to that one. No chlorine. KH is quite low. As is pH. Quite low. Oh, that's salt water, you dummy. Still quite low. I should have set a timer, but I didn't. Oh, well. So, yeah, nothing, nothing really going on there either. Could wait a couple more minutes, but a couple more seconds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nothing going on there either. Little ammonia, which is a little surprising. I guess that little filter wasn't as seated as I thought. So I gotta run an airline. Yeah, I can run an airline. I'm gonna put this down. Run a quick airline for that second filter. Hold on. Boom! Just like that. Second filter. Air filters, air filters, sponge filters are pretty easy now. It's a little easier in my fish room because I always have, I usually have extra drops. So I'm just using this gang valve here to run this workbench. But all right, guys, I'm gonna go feed some spirulina. Would you like to see? But I would. Hi, guys. So they're going after it pretty good. That's good. They are nice looking fish. I wish I could have like a display tank, but I always I always want to breed. Like I'm gonna get rid of full size gorgeous adult angels because they're not breeding. Alright, so they like it. That's good. Let's give some to my gold ram. buddy yeah I need a female gold ram that's big because he's full size so we have a little bit left I don't know who to give it to I guess we could give it to I don't know not too many of my fish in my fish room are big on the the veggies but let's see if these these little angels want some Typically, juvenile angels eat anything. Let's see. Are you eating it? What do you think? Is it too big for you? I want to see if there's any left. Platys will eat any. Oh, Molly's, Molly's, Molly's. Molly's like veggies. You can't see. We're just looking at leaves. Pretty big puffos leaves there. And they don't see it. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. All right, well, maybe later, later. All right, I've been rambling long enough, folks. That's it for Fry Fry Friday. Hope everyone has a great weekend. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. You can also hit me up at michaelsfishroom at gmail.com. Why don't you go ahead and hit that like button if you do like it. Hit that dislike button if you don't like it. But don't be a coward. Tell me why you're giving me a thumbs down. That's right, I called you out. What you going to do about it? If you don't like it, you probably haven't, you're, probably haven't watched up to this point anyway, so you're not going to hear it. But um, Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys later. I went to my local fish store and picked up... I went to a local fish store to pick up some frozen food, and guess what else I got? All right, fishy folks, you may be saying to yourself, Mike, why are you floating those guppies in this fantastic, that's not fantastic. All right, fishy folks, you may be saying to yourself, Mike, why are you floating those black German guppies, German black guppies? Jesus, I don't even know what they're called. 